Welcome back. It's now time for the Financial Week. Microlender Dollar Financial Services has announced the launch of its subsidiary, Ultra Financier. Chief Executive Officer of Dollar Financial, Kadine Mayer, says Ultra Financial will provide asset-based lending to high net worth individuals. What that subsidiary is responsible for is that it focuses on a part of the market that was basically untouched. And that that is providing loans to high net worth individuals, persons who have a lot of assets and want to unlock the value and the capital that is inside those assets to use that capital to um, take on opportunities. So in a practical sense, um, a guy who owns a boat can now use his boat as collateral. A lot of persons have assets, but they don't have the liquidity. Mr. Mayor says this market has the potential to expand the company's portfolio. David Henriquez, who was recently recruited by Dollar Financial, was named the Chief Executive Officer of Ultra Financier. The formation of the subsidiary comes months after Dollar Financial was listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange and raised over a billion dollars through a bond issue. In its third quarter ended September, Dollar Financial made a total income of $176.9 million. No, that is $108.8 million, or 160% increase over the corresponding period last year. Jamaica's growth forecast has been upgraded for the 2022-23 fiscal year. Chairman of the Economic Program Oversight Committee, Keith Duncan, made the announcement at the EPOC quarterly press conference this week. The interim fiscal policy paper was tabled in Parliament on September 27, 2022. This report noted that growth in real GDP is projected to increase to 4.1% in 2022-23 relative to the 3.5% previously used in the budget estimates. So the Ministry of Finance is projecting that growth will be higher for 2022 22 23 at 4.1 percent rather than the original budgeted estimates of 3.5 percent. Meanwhile, the financial minister is expected to table a supplementary budget before the end of the year. Mr. Duncan says this should account for the increased spend on social programs and a new adjustment for public sector wages. As tax revenues continue to outperform targets, the GOJ should be tabling this supplementary budget, we think. By December 2022, we believe by December 2022, we should include the increased allocations to the social safety net, which we have seen, and possible increases, possible increases in expend expenditures emanating from the public sector compensation, review and re rationalization. This, of course, is subject to the timely conclusion of negotiations between the GOJ and the public sector unions. So the currency market now, the U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $153.71. $116.79 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar, $172.12 for the pound, while it's costing $152.86 for the euro. On the stock market, the JSE index lost 669 points today, while the junior market index gained 26 points. Among the advancers, Access Financial Services, CAC 2000, 9.5% medical disposables and supplies, Everything Fresh, and ISP Finance Services. Now, leading the, leading the decliners were Margaritaville Turks, Community and Workers of Jamaica, CCU dif Deferred Shares, Plus Investments, or rather Pulse Investments, Nuts for the Express Services, and Sibony Group. That's Financial Week.